Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be checking out this tank that looks really cool and also apparently shoots nuclear bullets. That's why I'm wearing a hazmat suit. But how are we going to test this thing? Well, we're going to be putting it up against four different targets. We're going to see how well it does based on the damage they sustain. So the first one we're going to try it out against is a small box truck. It doesn't have much special going on. It has a forklift at the back, but no armor. It's just a box truck. I have a feeling this tank would completely destroy this thing. Next, we have this really cool looking miniature private jet. This thing shouldn't be much of a challenge to the tank, but I want to see how it holds up. Okay, don't mind the fact that I'm just floating in the air, but the third creation we're going to try it out against is this massive cargo ship. Well, it's not exactly massive, but I think it will pose a pretty big challenge for the little tank. Now for the final target. It's probably 10 times bigger than this, this, and this. So, what is it? It's this thing. Look how massive it is. Compare it, please. I would like you to compare it to this tank. Take a look at the size of this tank. And then take a look at the size of that spaceship. I feel like this tank won't do very much. It might like tickle the hole, but it won't do very much. But if you want to see what actually happens, be sure to stay until the end of the video to see what happens. And I can assure you, it's going to be pretty cool looking. So, our first target, this really cool looking truck. Actually, I do like the detail. There's like signs here, which shows the grill. There's a lot of work put into this. There's fluid ports, there's pipes, there's a license plate, all of this stuff. I think this is a modded piece as well. Like, I don't think there's any pieces in game that actually aren't modded that look like this. But, well, let's see how well it stands up against this tank. Okay, I just realized, once I jumped on it, why is it vibrating? Do you guys see the treads? Look at that. I think this thing has something weird going on okay let's hop inside the commander hatch and i want to show you guys something this is really cool this thing actually uses a thing called mouse aim and as you can see wherever i'm looking the turret will actually point there which is extremely useful this is a brand new feature and i feel like it will open up a ton of new possibilities anyways we're gonna aim this thing at the truck and press fire oh I think the bullet went through the truck. Did it go through the truck? I think it did. Okay, guys, two things I changed. I turned up the physics detail to full, so hopefully it'll calculate more. Also, I turned this slightly, so that way the bullet would pass through more stuff and hopefully actually register. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mouse aim onto that. Perfect. Then we turn off mouse aim and turn on raider aim. Okay, cool. Okay, and now that our raider is locked, as you can see right there, the last thing we're gonna have to do is press the fire button. Are you ready, guys? Three, two, one, fire! Okay, that went far. Okay, let's see the damage. Um, okay, it looks like the- Whoops! I did not mean to ram that thing, and now we're on fire. Great. But it looks like the bullet actually impacted the front, and it looks like the hood is actually open right now. Look at the bottom of this truck, that's insane. I'm gonna go check out what this bullet is actually made of. So it looks like, let me go in photo mode real quick. It actually looks like just a few um connector pieces. I don't actually see any thrusters on this, that's cool. I'm guessing this is definitely glitch powered. Okay, guys, are planes supposed to act like this or not? I don't think this plane's behaving correctly right now. Okay, let's try to get this thing positioned correctly. Let's turn... Okay, this is a bit too close. I do not want to explode with the plane. Wait, is the plane trying to take off? It looks like it's trying to take off. Okay, let's turn on the brakes, turn on mouse control, position it roughly over the target, turn off mouse control, and turn on radar. Okay, we are completely locked. Our brakes are on, and we are ready to fire. Three, two, one... Okay, that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything at all. I feel like this tank isn't exactly the most reliable thing ever. Like, half the time, it literally just phases through the target. Okay, let's try this again. Mouse aim, radar. Here we go. Three, two, one, fire. Okay, that was definitely a hit. Let's go ahead and check out what happened. It's probably safe to say that this plane isn't going to be flying anymore. Uh, wait a second. Did the bullet glitch into the plane? I think that's what that awful metal sound is. Yep, that's the bullet, all right. I think I see the name nuclear fuel rod. Yeah, I told you guys, it is radioactive. And somehow it caught the engine on fire, even though the engines were never on. 
Okay, this is the third level, the third creation, and I am completely aimed onto it. And don't ask me why there's water in the cabin, okay? We had a little bit of an incident where the tank fell into the lake and I had to drag it back out while I was setting up this part of the video. Anyways, uh, here we go. Three, two, one, fire! Whoa! Okay, um, uh... Uh, okay, so either we just had a catastrophic malfunction, or that boat fought back. Okay, here we go. Take two. Three, two, one, fire. Yes, okay, that was an actual hit, but it didn't do anything. Okay, never mind. It definitely did do something, but just not very much. Not as much as I was hoping for. I mean, I'm 100% sure that is definitely enough damage to sink that boat. Given enough time, that will be at the bottom of the ocean, but... Is that an instant takedown? With that truck and that plane, it was a definite yes. With this boat, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's move on to the one final creation. Okay, this is the final level, guys. Do you think this... Oh, we're already sustaining some damage without even shooting anything. But anyways, do you guys think this thing is gonna be damaged by this thing? Well, obviously, the gunshot will damage it, but will it, like, move it at all? I'm gonna give it a strong no on this one. Which is why that tank is actually getting a little advantage. Let me just quickly no-clip my way into the spaceship. And also, guys, don't worry, I have a feeling there's gonna be a video soon talking about this massive spaceship. But for this video, we're just gonna start flying it. So main system's on. Activate- oh, we don't need that. And what we're gonna do now is lift this thing off the ground and get it into the air so that we can get rid of this really, really annoying destruction sound effect. Let's press the button gain altitude. I think this is high enough. Oh, no, let's not go lower. This is pretty good. Anyways, let's mouse aim up there, help the radar out a little bit, turn on radar aim, turn off mouse aim, and it looks like the radar can see the craft. It's just a little bit low, but I'm sure that's gonna be fine. Let's turn on brakes, make sure we're not moving, and fire that did not do anything wait did that even do damage i don't think i i don't see any damage guys okay there's one point of impact here but nothing else is damaged let's see deeper into the ship nope we probably hit the least important part of the ship if we hit a tiny bit over we would have hit this um this this thing looks important doesn't it at least this speeder bike looking thing would have been more important than a heater that's literally all we hit we just hit the ground and a single heater and worse yet, guys, we hit the part of the craft where the welding torches are stored. Well, guys, I think this nuclear tank has finally met its match. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!